Welcome to another video. This video is about a game that recently took the internet by storm, mainly, and this is kind of explaining how and some other things about it, about how it's not really that good of a game because of a bunch of main things. Firstly, is that First of all, it just co straight off copied many other games. I think about Poppy Playtime. That was, it's such a ripoff of Poppy Playtime. The characters, the design, everything looks like Poppy Playtime. Some of the paintings have a, an Amanda the Adventurer of vibe to them. And there's just plain old creepy stuff in that you would see in most indie horror. So it's a lot of a ripoff, which I think the developers wanted to bank on the popularity of indie horror and how the internet's kind of starved for more and more indie horror. And they might have also wanted to bank off of a crazy uh, psychological effect that I kind of call toddler horror, but that my whole theory on that uh, is enough for its own video, so I'll keep to the thing about po Garden of Ban Ban. See, even there, I nearly called it Poppy Playtime, because that's just how similar they are. But here's the thing, Poppy Playtime is actually meant to be a game. Garden of Ban Ban isn't meant to be a fun game that people are meant to ha enjoy or be scared or be fun when playing it because all it's meant to do is to sell merch like if you've ba like the first day it was like the first day they sold it the second you boot it up it's giving you advertisements for merch and garden of ban ban 2 there's already a trailer for garden of ban ban 2 they're just trying to bank off the popularity of this to just sell more just sell games that are super short are just plain old ripoffs and aren't actually that fun. Because there's not much you do in Garden of Ban Ban. You solve a few puzzles, and then you get chased by a bird, and then go down a shoot with a cliffhanger ending. That's all that happens. So there's not much. But then, they somehow are selling tons of merch. Advertising Garden of Ban Ban 2. Advertising a possible ARG. Where they're probably, you're probably going to have to buy their merch. And things like that. So I just think it it's kind of a scummy excuse to sell a lot of merch. But hey, that's just a theory. A totally stolen theory outro from Game Theory. So yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye. And please subscribe.